Guys, my name is Ankush Kaurav and I welcome you to Contour series. In the earlier tutorials, we saw the complete introduction to Spring MVC framework with a real life analogy. Now is the time to get our hands dirty with some hands on demos. So in this tutorial, I'm going to set up the clips ID with the necessary jars to create our first Spring MVC project. So let's start. This is the Eclipse ID and there is no project or any setup defined so far. Let's create a fresh Spring MVC project here. Right click on the Project Explorer and choose New Dynamic Web Project. Give a name to your project. I'm giving first Spring MVC project. You may give any name which you want. and click on finish. So this is the basic setup which Eclipse ID has created for us. Now to use Spring MVC framework, we need to have Spring related jars onto the project's class path. You can download the Spring distribution zip having all required jars from this link on Spring website. The current Spring version available is 404. I've already downloaded and unzipped it on my D drive. In my demos, I usually do not stick to any particular dependency mechanism system for downloading jazz. Rather, I download all required jazz manually and then place them on the project's class path. But if you are comfortable with any particular dependency mechanism system, say Maven or Gradle, you may visit this link to get more information on the exact paths or dependencies needed for a Spring MVC project. All right, let's go through the Spring's distribution directory structure, which I've extracted on my D drive. You'll find all required jars in its libs directory. So what we'll do, we'll include all these jars in our Spring MVC projects class path by copying all these jars in projects lib folder like this so this way we have included all spring mvc related jars onto the project's class path there's one more jar which a spring mvc project would need and that is commons logging dot jar for logging purposes you may download it from this link. I've already downloaded it and unzipped it on my local T drive. Let's include this jar also in the project's class path by copying it in the lib folder. Last but not the least, we'll need a web server. Any server supporting servlet JSP technologies would be fine to us. For example, Tomcat Apache, WebSphere, WebLogic, Glassfish, JBoss, etc. etc. You may use any server you like. I'm going to use Apache Tomcat server in all my Spring MVC demos. You can follow these steps to download and install Apache Tomcat server on your computer. I've already followed these steps and installed it on my local D drive. You also follow these steps and install it on your computer too. Only step pending here is how to integrate the Tomcat server which you have just installed on your computer with project in an Eclipse ID. So that once you are done with developing the web application using Spring MVC framework, you should be able to run it on the server from within an Eclipse IDE. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to integrate the Tomcat Apache server with an Eclipse IDE. Guys, thank you for liking my tutorials. Your any sort of interaction make me upload more and more such tutorials. So keep commenting, provide feedback below the video or stay away, write to me for your queries on this ID. Please like the video if you really liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Conto Series to get all updates on my latest video tutorials and I'm going to catch you in my next tutorial.